What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of the greatest vlog in the world. My name is Jeff, your favorite tour guide in Madeira and today we're on a big adventure. We're gonna have a coffee and get some uh, supplies before we go off hiking in the mountains. So uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's get some coffee and let's get out of here. Last year when we started this vlog, we decided to create this little mini-series that was called Madeira Bus Adventures, uh, which was all of these little small itineraries that you could do by local bus, little adventures, and unfortunately we only filmed one of them. It was a big hit, and this year we want to do much, much more. So welcome to the first episode of Madeira Bus Adventures of 2022. And we're going today to catch the SAM bus, the 113 bus. 110. What, are you sure? Oh, 13. Uh, 103. 103 is the bus. All the information will be in the links in the description. So I'll put everything written out properly for you guys. Without any further ado, let's get on the bus and uh, I'm going to take you guys on this little adventure. Let's go. Rapaz, ah? I'm sented. Ah? Quantas imagens precisas do outro carro, mano? I'm doing B-roll, man. Dude, it's so much, so much, just the bus, the bus, everything's up, but we've got other things to film. Filmmakers. I want to tell you about something new that we've got here at Hit the Road, which is our new Patreon account. For those of you who don't know, Patreon is a social media app that allows content creators like ourselves uh, to be supported uh, by our fans. For only four euros 50 a month, you can have direct contact with me via Patreon and you can ask me anything you wanna know about Madeira and I can help you plan your trip. By the way, if you join for only four euros 50, you could enter into the contest uh, to win a vacation in Madeira paid by us. Uh, we obviously, obviously value all of your support and uh, this is just a way for us to uplift the channel even more and to give you guys even more uh, cool adventures. And for now, just uh, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, there's loads of cool stuff coming. So we're on the way there and uh, this is indeed the 113 bus. Anyway, uh, we're probably about 40 minutes out. So uh, yeah, let's enjoy some, uh, some views from the bus and get ready to hike. I'm excited. We've arrived at the beginning of the hike. So when you're on the bus, you wanna speak to the bus driver a little bit, you know, hopefully he speaks English, but you wanna start over here by the tunnel uh, of Canisal, the Canisal tunnel, or tunnel de Canisal, if you wanna try and practice your Portuguese with the driver. And the hike starts right over here. We're gonna start going this way. It's nice and flat and easy. Um, so we're gonna have a pretty good time. And I'll tell you a little bit more about the hike and about where we are during the walk. So let's get walking. Let's show you this beautiful hike. Maybe we'll put it over here. No, no. Over here. We only give flowers when we make mistakes. What did you do? But I didn't do any of this. This is just for the vlog. <laughs> this is just for the vlog. I didn't do anything, did I? This is Mimosa. All of this is out and it comes out around April time. So almost in March, it's the end of February at the moment. So yeah, it's, I guess it's starting to come out. It gives a great smell to the forest. I believe the Italians like to give uh, mimosa to their women uh, on Women's Day. So we're just gonna do it a little bit earlier. This particular hike is a good plan B hike if you think the weather is not so good. In fact, many of the 
of the hiking companies in Madeira that sell the peak tours very much come here for plan B when the peaks are clouded. So it is a, a reasonably decent uh, hike to do when you think the weather isn't 100% and today it's kind of cloudy and we might catch a few drops in Porto, Porto de Cruz, I think, I hope not, because obviously we want to make an awesome film for you guys. So without any further ado, yeah, it's starting to rain. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Pack up the camera. On the 1st of July 1419, the Portuguese discoverers arrived here in the Bay of Mexico, João Gonçalves Zarco and Tristão Vaz Teixeira and their crew. And this was actually one of the first capitals uh, of Madeira. Mexico is now a city, I believe from 1996 or something, is uh, the city of Mexico. So very historical uh, city, loads of history over here. And of course, very important being Madeira being the first colonization of the Portuguese Empire, the first land outside of Portugal that was colonized in the whole of Portuguese Empire, which was massive. You know, this was a momentous occasion uh, for the Portuguese. So we're heading inland now and we're going now uh, over the mountain so we can start seeing the north side. I guess what's the most important for you guys is to be well prepared. So we made a video about all of this, about how to go hiking in Madeira, tips and tricks and all of that kind of stuff. Make sure you got all your gear, your waterproofs, food, water, all that stuff. You can check that in the video. I was going to mention it earlier that there is actually a section on this uh, Levada that you have to divert off to get to Boca do Risco. Uh, because this, as I mentioned before, is Levada dos Marossos and this hike actually goes to Marossos and it's not the first time that I'm at this corner realizing that we missed uh, our exit so uh, we have to go back just a little bit uh, they, 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 they don't seem too upset but they look maybe just a little bit upset are you guys upset? Uh -huh. just yeah. a little <laughs> it's supposed to be an adventure come on this is it. So I got distracted. I met a friend of mine over here who's a guide with a group. And I was like, hey, hey, hey. And we just walked straight past it. So, Pareda de Boca do Risco, the next place that we're going to is Boca do Risco, and you'll see that soon. Uh, but the second half of this trip is uh, in Larano, Pareda do Larano, which is just over here. So be careful if you're doing it by yourself and whatever, and check the apps and whatever. This is the way. Or get a guide, you know. Guides are great here in Madeira and these walks are, are cheap. My go-to guides are Lido Tours. So if you do want to look for somebody, check out Lido Tours. I know they do sell this program. Um, but yeah, you know, get a guide if you don't want to get lost and if you don't want to deal with tickets and wasting time on the bus and stuff like that. Anyway, we're on an adventure, so we're going this way. Let's go, we gotta, I'm hungry, hungry. Hungry, ooh! <laughs> Big bunch here for you, babe. <laughs> hey. There's something on there. Hold on, now no, it's gone. Hey, yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Come. <laughs> eat. You must eat. You're looking so thin. This is what my grandmother says. She used to say. If you eat. You look so thin. You must eat. Eat some more. These are these are called azedas. Azedas. Yeah, it tastes like a green apple. Mm, yeah. Yeah? Do you like it? I like it, yeah. I don't really like I it. Like it I do like it, actually. <laughs> but yeah, you know, in Madeira, we used to have a lot of uh, poverty in, in, in our past. 
Uh, that's why so many people left and whatever, like like my family that went to South Africa. So um, they used to make salads, soups and salads out of this uh, azaleas. I don't know what it's called in English. I'm not the sour. greatest. Uh, sours. Sour, sour plant. Yeah, I've, I, I do need to brush up on my fauna and flora. I know other things though, you know, I know other things. Yeah. Say hello to my little friends. Luis. Take it away, man. Me and my little friend. <laughs> so physically, this is not a very demanding hike. As you can see, it's all kind of flat and we're not really that tired and it's not, it hasn't been that far. Uh, but what could be an issue for this, for this hike is the, the vertigo. So for people who have issues with vertigo, this might not be the hike for you. In fact, if you do have vertigo and you want to hike in Madeira or you think that you might have vertigo, then I would recommend going with the tour group and trying the 25 fonts hike so that you can have an idea about what it feels like. We made a video about it as well and we'll put it up here somewhere. I just wanted to let you guys know that just around the corner is Porto de Cruz. So we're going to take in the views and then hopefully go and have our poncha. This is the end of the hike. So it's almost two o'clock, I think. Probably around two o'clock. I think we started at 9.30, uh, which means about four hours of hiking and filming and droning and eating. And so four hours is probably enough to think about this. We still got about 45 minutes to go down into Porto de Cruz. Porto de Cruz is down there. It's looking really cool. It's not raining, but it's still overcast. I believe it's raining in Funchal. So uh, weather in Madeira is this whole kind of thing. And yeah, so usually if you're doing it with a tour group, then this is where you'd be picked up. So again, if you don't want to go through all the hassle, um, you know, for only a little bit extra, the tour is a lot easier. And speaking of that, I mean, Andrea is there. Is there any way we could just like fly to Poncha or something? You mean time travel? Yeah, something like that. Sure. Yeah? Now? Right now, please. Really? Yeah, yeah. Now? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Right. This is the life, eh? The life of a YouTuber. The easy life, the good life. If only real life was that easy, right? Anyway, we've arrived at Porto de Cruz. We're having some uh, delicious poncha. We're waiting for a little snack as well. Then we've got to find the bus stop, which I honestly don't know where it is. Do you know where it is? Nope. <laughs> we're going to find the bus stop before four o'clock, I think it is. Yep. And of course, if you're coming to Madeira, don't forget that we have the best tour company in the galaxy. We offer awesome trips. And if you use the promo code Hugo for president on our website, hittheroadmadeira.com, you will get 10% off everything. Um, and that's Jeep tours, sunrise tours, sunset tours, and the big walk, our epic uh, eight day hiking expedition, which is awesome and probably the best thing you can ever do in Madeira. Here it comes, uh, Gallardo and some bread. Gallardo, I think, is a skipjack. If anybody watching knows how to say Gallardo in English, please put it in the comments. All right. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's skipjack. Are you playing Game Boy? <laughs> Louis, just, Louis just playing the Game Boy. Don't crash, please. Please don't crash. Why is everyone in the front of the bus? <laughs> it's like, usually the rule is the cool kids are in the back of the bus, right? 
I went through school fighting for back seats of the bus. Uh, everyone's in the front. I don't know. Anyway, that's it. Final thoughts. Final thoughts. We've got um, a rally car driver as the bus driver back. So it's a little bit like crazy and there's lots of corners and you have to go through each and every little village to get back to Funchal. So, um, you know, what you save in money, you lose in time uh, and maybe energy. But for those of you who want to do this kind of thing, I want to give a big shout out to Patty. Uh, she wrote a great blog uh, on, on the internet. I think it's called Patty's Journey. Uh, which I will link in the description below. She found our last bus adventures video, loved it, asked me if she, if she could use that video as a reference. So now I'm referencing back her blog for this hike. It's fantastic. There's all the information you need. This is the 53 bus, the Wild West 53 bus, right? <laughs> so uh, that's the bus you need to get back. Check out the video below about the last bus adventure we have like and subscribe to the channel i think it's on this side if not on this side on the little ball thing and hit the road thing and we will see you in next week's video monday 7 pm let's hit the road bye bus <laughs>